points in the first 22 minutes, 12 in the last seven. And the tomahawk jam by James. It's a two-point game. And since Wade... happen every single time. Now, this is just a strong move. Give it up. Why? They're, two of them are playing. But this is where the train comes, and you just can't stop the 240, 245-pound LeBron James. Too strong. I think to be a better basketball player, you don't have to jump high. You just have to be smart in how you utilize the skill that you've been given. If anyone has a good chance, this young man is blessed with outstanding offensive skills. Something about Steve Nash, you know, a lot of guys see the game in black and white. He sees it in high definition in three dimensions. He, he has excellent vision, Ernie. He sees the floor. He can make the play, and then he has three points. You know what you're going to get from him. He's going to be very productive. He's going to be a very hard worker. He's handled everything very well, as you said, unflappable. But if there is a chink in the armor, where can Lynn improve his game? How do you think race is playing all, into all of this? What are some of the stereotypes that Asian American athletes have to deal with? Uh, just, you know, <laughs> um, a lot, I guess. Uh, it's You can't prove yourself one time. You can't have one good game and everyone be like, you know, he's a real deal. It has to be over and over and over again. And... Um, you know, it's funny, people are still saying, oh, he's, you know, quicker than he looks. And I'm like, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> do I look slow? You know, people are always saying he's deceptively quick, deceptively athletic, and um, I don't know if that's just because I'm Asian or, or what it is. That was a part of him being Asian, and the deals that were coming through, they were like, he was supposedly going to get a Nike deal bigger than LeBron James. You know why? Because they looked at all the Asian kids over there and sure, said they could yeah. sell sneakers. Yeah. So he benefited from being Asian, so don't look at it and just say yeah. it's all negative by him being Asian. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather claims that all the Lynn hype is race-based. Here's a tweet from Floyd. Jeremy Lynn's a good player, but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. He took a lot of criticism for that tweet. He followed it up with one trying to perhaps explain it away. I'm speaking my mind on behalf of other NBA players. They are programmed to be politically correct and will be penalized if they speak up. Floyd Mayweather tweets, fair or foul? I say foul. This what isn't a, foul? This isn't a story about Jeremy Lin being Asian and he's getting pub because he's Asian. He's getting publicity because he's balling right now. It has nothing to do with race and right. Floyd is out of line right now. No, no, no. So here's the thing. I say it's fair. I don't think he's entirely correct, but I think that Lynn being Asian has certainly added to the novelty of this. And for better or worse, him being Asian has definitely been a part of this story in the way that he's saying, though, the it. hype is because he's Asian, not because he's a good player who happens to be Asian. His yeah. words, Jeremy Lynn is, 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 is a good a player. Fair. All the hype is because he's Asian. I do not think that we are broadcasting this story. The New York part, of course, is huge in this because of the yeah, size of the media market. But I don't think we're broadcasting this in the same way, nor do I think that the Knicks would have jumped as quickly on the PR wagon on this. I mean, it was only after one or two good games that Lynn Sanity was born. It's before we got to five that this was, that this was done. It's very difficult for me to believe in the world that we live in that the fact that Jeremy Lin is Asian and the fact that that's not something that we see commonly in the NBA. I think he's the first American-born Taiwanese player in the NBA. That's a part of the story. That's a part of the hype. That's a part of why people push this. To say that it's entirely the case is wrong, but I think it's a little bit lazy to just blast Floyd for what he said.